Sundial. Used to be Sundial Growers, now just plain old Sundial. SNDL, traded on the NASDAQ. Canadian company, lots of cash. Building up some total equity. But when are they going to be able to sell some cannabis? I got a bunch of messages from some guys just asking me, what do you think? They just did a reverse split 10 to 1, and the SNDL stock just drove off a cliff. What do I actually think? Here's the thing. First, looking at the chart here, Sundial itself, my complaint with them has always been the same thing. When are you going to start selling some cannabis? They had about 18 million in revenue the previous quarter, dropped it down to 14 million. Now, we've seen some drops in a lot of the cannabis stocks, but really, when are you going to be able to sell some cannabis? They just acquired Inner Spirit Dispensary System. You'd think they'd be able to sell a lot of cannabis through there. When are you going to be able to sell that cannabis? We've seen companies, Canopy Growth, who have been bequeathed a lot of cash and go nowhere. And I believe the Sundial SNDL stock will advance. All right. If we get cannabis federal legalization, here's what's going to happen. Sundial's a NASDAQ traded stock. Karen's boyfriend, Kyle, he's not that sophisticated at all. After all, he's Karen's boyfriend. Here's the thing. He has his Robin Hood account. He can only trade NASDAQ stocks. He doesn't even know the names of half these OTC stocks. I've got 100 that I'm looking at at any particular time. So that individual, when he goes to trade cannabis stocks because they're uh, rocking up the world, he's going to stick to the NASDAQ stocks. And Sundial is one of those ones that's accumulated a great deal of name brand for cannabis stocks. Great. Sundial is going to rock it like the rest of them. But would that necessarily mean it's going to be a long-term investment? Once cannabis federal legalization hits, all these stocks are going to sell off again. Yes, Sundial has the ability to put pieces together. They've got a lot of cash, but that cash position is actually dwindling in itself. So I'm not even really in love with that kind of look at it as well. They're down to about 389 million U.S. in cash on hand. They had about 500 the quarter before. So their cash position's dwindling down as well. Let's take a look at, real quick, here's the revenue. Again, this doesn't exactly, I've got a lot of charts. I, I look at 100 different cannabis stocks. And yeah, Sundial stock is going to go up. Is it the best cannabis stock you can get your hands on? A lot of guys are just going to argue that yes, it is simply because that's the one they bought. They're looking for confirmation bias, but they're not looking at the actual numbers. I'm looking at a hundred over a hundred different stocks. I can look at these and pick them apart and say, this one is outperforming those by a long shot. So it gives me the advantage of not looking at all or just one stock, but all of them and picking the best. All cannabis stocks are going to go higher. Would I buy into Sundial? Probably not. They need to start selling some cannabis. And anybody who wants to argue that point, I'm just going to keep pointing my finger at this chart right here. It's revenue. When's it going to go up? Here's the next thing, total equity. Total equity is moving higher. It better They've got so much cash, they can put it to work. They can do things with it. And some would argue that's going to drive revenue. When? Equity's been going up for the past, what, five quarters? Big numbers. But Sundell has not been able to get there. Yeah, SNDL stock will go up with all the other cannabis stocks. But it's also going to get outperformed in the long run if these guys don't get their act together. So when I look at this stock... I see that there is potential there, but I also see that they're just not pulling it off. I wouldn't buy this. It's not one of my top picks. I have other stocks that are pulling things off. And you know what? Their stock's going down too. That's 100% of all cannabis stocks. So if you're going to get married to a company, get the ones that are number one, underappreciated because short sellers are just decimating all cannabis stocks. Number two, the ones that are going to are profitable, 
and outperforming the other stocks. At some point, we're going to see companies going away. We're also going to see a critical mass occur when companies like Sundial take advantage of their assets and start accumulating more and more companies. That critical mass is really what's going to be the final thing that pushes cannabis stocks forward. It's not cannabis federal legalization. It's not uplisting to NASDAQ. It's the accumulation and becoming a behemoth. That's going to take a lot of time. It's not going to happen this year. It might take two and a half, five, ten years till we hit a critical mass level where there are, say, 10 to 15 key players that are producing billions in revenue annually, profitable companies. Sundial itself, their stock is going to go up just like every other cannabis stock, but they're underperforming. And yeah, I can see this stock moving higher. I've put out discount cash flow calculations on Sundial. It has room to move forward, but they got to do something about that revenue. They've got to start selling cannabis. They've got to start putting their equity to work and their cash before they run out. These guys are unprofitable. So for all those guys out there who are sitting there saying, you know, the company's doing this, the company's doing that. There's a lot of other companies that are doing the same thing faster, better, more profitable. And I get that everybody loves Sundial because it's NASDAQ. It's the only one that Kyle's allowed to trade. Does that make it the best? Not by a long shot. Of the NASDAQ stocks, one of the ones I like the most that I don't own, but I think is going to become huge, is Tilray. Tilray looks like they just want to own everything in every area of the world. I don't see that happening with Sundial. Canopy? Aurora? No. Nope. So if you're looking to get involved in Sundial, what is it that you're looking at? The increasing revenue? The decreasing cash? Total equity is going up. Cash on hand is going down. Revenue, flat to, to lower. These guys need to start pulling some things off. For me, I'm looking for the overperformers, the ones that are really going to move forward. Merrimed, you know, companies like that. Vex Sciences, which... It's OTC. It's tiny. It's profitable. They're not losing money. Those kinds of companies. Those are the ones that when they do get acquired or start acquiring other companies, they're just going to continue to build a bigger and bigger foundation. Tilray, Green Thump. These are excellent US MSOs that have the ability to really take off and are considerably underappreciated. They are beating out Sundial. So I wouldn't for me, it's not. this isn't a stock I would buy because I'm looking at 105 stocks. And if I offered you 105 stocks, I'd seriously ask you, but why Sundial? If that's the one you picked out of 105 cannabis stocks. This stock will go up. Others will outperform. Which one are you looking for? I got this as a question from about seven or eight people because that stock chart just took a nosedive and people are like is it a buy now the stock's going to go up it might go down a lot more before it gets there but it will go up i'm not buying it though and yeah i do have a price target that's much higher than today but that doesn't mean i would buy it i just look at it and say they could pull off something awesome and it would put them there other companies are going to outperform it if you have any questions like this on any specific stock, feel free to drop me a message. The comments down below, I don't get to those. Go to my website, hit the contact button, send me a message. We'll see you in the next video.